so we're just going to jump right in. We're going to talk about like some things that we should notice when we see these questions um, and, and sort of take it from there. Okay. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to help you with a lot of this. I want you to do these by yourselves on your side, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that we must notice when we get started. If we were in the exam or the test and we saw a question like this, the first thing that we need to take note of is that we've got these lines over here okay and they've got these little arrows what are those arrows telling us about those blue lines that i've highlighted what do those arrows mean who can tell me what those arrows mean okay so be careful with with the words of it's the same bruce what do those little arrows yep. mean they are parallel to each other. Yes, good. They are parallel to yes. each other. Okay, excellent. So parallel doesn't necessarily mean that they're equal to each other. They can be different lengths, but they are parallel to each other. Okay, so those little arrows over there, they mean that they are parallel. So that means that AB is parallel to GD, which is parallel to EF. Okay, and whenever we see parallel lines in a geometry question, we want to think, of fun okay so if that's our corresponding angles the u is our our interior angles and then the n or the z those are our alternate angles so whenever we see those parallel lines our brain needs to think of fun and see if you can use those letters to try and help you in little bits to start solving these so we're trying to figure out what t is and we're trying to figure out what u is and remember, for each statement that you give, you're going to need to give a reason. Yes, Lichle, absolutely. They are the same distance apart from each other. They will never, ever touch. They are lines that will never touch. So our goal here is to find T and U. Remember to give your reasons as you work through this. And if you're happy with one of your answers, pop your hand up. We can talk through it. Um, yeah. Let's just have fun with this lesson. I think most of you are done. So we might as well just have a bit of fun. Let's go, my pibs. Try and focus on these letters over here and see if any of them can help you finding something. So as soon as there's parallel lines, we're going to be using one of those letters at least. And often we could use more than one. Are you guys feeling nervous to give me your answers? Or are you just tired? Because your term is finished. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Let's keep it going, my pebs. It will be nice. It will be fun. If you interact, actually, like you will feel like, whoa, I actually know this stuff. Yeah. It'll be like great sort of reinforcing. Don't worry, Tristan, you take your time. There's no rush. There's no rush. Lisa is coming in strong. Oh, guys, let me remind you, you have the power to actually unmute yourself and talk to us. How how cool is that? You never had that, so you better use it. Papi, I see you. <laughs> you better talk to us, guys. Such we a privilege. Thought, yeah, we thought since the class was nice and small today, we could give you that privilege today. So if you're wanting to chat, you can just chat. You can just unmute and talk to us. Okay. Hi, Namanda. 
<laughs> um, sorry, isn't T equal to 52 alternating angles? Yes, what else do I need to put in that sentence? Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be BA or AB um, is parallel to GD. If I'm yeah, it doesn't matter. You could yeah. say BA or AB, totally fine. Parallel to GD or DG. Perfect. Okay. okay. Nice. Um, okay, got, so now we know this is 52. Next step. I got a little confused with you because it's not alternating, which no. is what I noticed. Okay. Um, so, he. Okay. <laughs> What 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 angle would it be alternating to though? So what um, angle in this picture would be you? The one at the the one below the T. Yeah. Like okay. the half yeah. of the 90 degree angle over there. Yeah. Okay. So how do we talk about what that angle is? Like how do we label this angle that I'm talking about? Would we Using say let three letters? Would we say let D one equals something else so if there is like a one and a two in the picture we can use those but if they don't have mm -hmm. ones and twos we're going to use the letters so we're going to say g d e so basically we're like looking at which three letters are going to give okay. us that angle so we're going to say angle g d e is equal to u okay because of alternate angles g okay. parallel to e f can you finish this off for me then? If that's you. Wouldn't that be 45, ma'am? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, then I can't. I'm sorry. No, you can't answer. You can't answer. You're so close. What is this little square telling us? Uh, so, yo, ma'am, I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay, um, it's 90 degrees. Yes, it's 90 degrees. Okay, so that little square is telling us that 52 degrees plus you is equal to 90 because they are complementary angles oh my god oh my <gasps> gosh okay okay <laughs> um does that make sense I'm, yes ma'am then i'm okay. guessing you take the 52 and minus it from the 90 you do and what do we get and then oh, where is my calculator <laughs> your brain your brain is your calculator today um don't you get 40, no, yes, 48, mm -mm. 38, yes, okay, <laughs> <laughs> nice job, we got there, we got there, <laughs> okay, cool, thanks, <laughs> okay, so there are lots of different ways we could have gone about this, you didn't have to first say that this one's you, you could have actually just worked out what that angle is, so you could have said that G, D, E, is equal to 38 degrees and then this one would be 38 degrees because it's alternate to the other one that would be 100 percent fine so it's just different ways of looking at this um if we had to mark this question we would be doing one two three four depending on what you did so it, it might not look exactly like where mine are and then probably for the 38 and the complementary angle so you're looking at six marks where were we at? What did people get for this question? Were we on zero, one, two, three, four, or five or six? No, mother, that's a six of my help, but I'm going to take it. I'll take it. <laughs> you should <laughs> <take that. laughs> Tristan, nice. Okay, GC, where you went wrong, Tristan? Or was there like a step that you left out? Okay. Nice job, Jacondi. <laughs> yeah, we are a small class today. <laughs> That's why you can unmute yourselves. So if you're wanting to chat today, you're welcome to unmute and talk to us. Um, yeah, so the, the class is going to run a little bit differently today because we're in a nice small class. Okay, so that was question one. Let's move on to number two. So number two, I'm looking for the values of A and B. There are different ways you could go about this. Um, easier ways and harder ways, but it's up to you. 
think about how you're going to work this out. I'm wanting the values for A and I want the values for B and I'm going to need a reason for both of them. Good luck. And if you're uncertain on one of the reasons, just let us know. Yeah, Princess, you can ask any question. Totally fine. Even if it's not relevant to this current topic. Well, um, as soon as we how about this? Because, yeah, so Princess, how about this? We're going to finish this question. And then at the end of this question, I'll move the board to the side. And you can ask your question that isn't relevant to this. And we can go through that. And then we can come back into some geometry. Okay. So as soon as we finish question two, you're most welcome. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah. For A, wouldn't it be um, A plus AT is equal to 180 degrees because of um, straight line thinking? Ooh, your reasons are getting very rusty, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes. Adjacent so angles a, on a straight line. A plus yes, AT that's what I was equals 180 angles on a straight line. So then A would equal to 100. Good. Perfect. Okay, so A is 100. Nice. Now we need to... Um, and then with B, wouldn't we do the exact same thing? Okay, so what am I going to say for B? Wouldn't you say um, 10 minus B? Well, 10, sorry, 10 plus B is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, what's my Angles reason? on a straight line. Okay. And then after that, B would be, I'm guessing, 170, sorry, 170. 170. Yeah, no, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Great. 100%. Oh, but man, when I add have... them all up, when I add them all up, it doesn't, I'm not sure if it makes 360. It should. An eighty percent. Oh no, it does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Thanks. I'm so happy we have you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. The like keeping, keeping wow. our vibes going. So yeah. with this one, you don't have to use angles on a straight line for the second one here. You could have also used angles around a point if you wanted to, um, because that's our point over there, and those all those angles to there would have had to equal three hundred and sixty. So if we had used angles around a point, just so you know what that would have looked like, we would have said eighty plus a hundred. That was our a. Okay, plus ten plus. B is equal to 360 because of angles around a point. And then we would have seen that B is equal to 170 degrees. So we could have used either way. It doesn't matter. We get to the same point in the end. But remember, if we can take our ruler and we can put our ruler on a line like that and it's straight, we know that that's a straight line and then we can always use 180 degrees. Okay. And that's always going to be angles on a straight line. And some of your schools want you to write adjacent angles on a straight line. So be careful with that. No problem, princess. You can definitely write it in the, in the chat. Let me move over onto the side. You get that question written in there so long. Um, and then we can quickly go through it. And then we will we'll jump back into some geometry. Guys, if anyone else has any random questions about maths that they are wanting asked, this is your time. Please feel free to ask. Uh, there's no shame. It can be as silly as you think it is. I'm happy to answer it. If it's something that is bugging you to do with maths, let me help. Also, has everyone decided on um, next year if they're doing cool maths or if they're doing math literacy? What decisions has everyone made about that? Just curious. Literacy. Okay, okay. That's fine, Princess. You can put factorization question in here. Tristan, you chose some pure maths. Okay. Yes, pure maths, they definitely do geometry. Maths literacy, they don't do geometry.
y'all are gonna have a very nice start in grade 10. Yeah. Ma'am, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. You got your mic okay. working. Um, I just took off my earphones. Oh, okay. Okay, ma'am, so my question is 60x squared minus 25x plus 5x. Like that? Yes. Okay, and they said factorize. Yes, they said factorize fully. Okay, no problem. Okay, so our first goal here, whenever we're told to factorize, the first thing we have to do is we have to take out a highest common factor. So if there is a highest common factor, we have to take it out. So we're going to look at our numbers. We've got 60, we've got 25, and we've got 5. So 5 can go into all of those numbers. So we can take 5 out. And can I just ask here, was this x squared and that's a normal x and this a normal x? There weren't any exponents here and here. No. Okay. All right. Before we factorize, we're just going to simplify this thing. So these two over here, they're like terms. Okay, they're the same as each other. So we're allowed to add them. So we can say that that's 60x squared minus 20x. That's our first step. So all we've done there is we've added our like terms. Now we are going to take out our highest common factor. And in this case, now it's going to be 20 because 20 can go into both of those numbers. And x is, we've got an x squared and an x, and we can take out an x. And so I'm going to be left with 3x over here, and then negative 20x divided by 20x is going to be 1. I'm going to have a minus 1. Um, Ma'am, when you said, did you use the negative sign for the negative 25? Yeah, so this, this over here, this negative 25 plus the 5, that gave me this negative 20 over here. Okay, thank you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Um, does anyone else have any other questions before we jump into the geometry again? It's fine if we like do them intermittently, it's not a problem. Just give me a warning before you ask and then we can do them after a question. But just cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Get some different rules happening in number three. Have a, oh, okay, hold on. We'll come back to number three. Another question about factorization. Quickly zoom into this question and then we'll go back to number three. So we've got 2x squared minus 22x plus 36. Okay, so same situation. We have to take out the highest common factor. So when we take out the highest common factor, we have to look at our numbers. And the only thing we could take out here is 2. So we're going to take out a 2. I'm going to be left with x squared minus 11x plus 18. Okay. Now, what I have over here is I have got a trinomial. All right. So over here, I took out my HCF. And now I have a trinomial. When I have a trinomial, I look at my constant and I'm trying to find my factor pairs. So I've got one in 18, I've got two and nine, I've got three and six. And I can see that if I take this two and this nine, I can get negative 11. So I'm gonna say two, open bracket, x minus two, x minus nine. And that is going to be my question fully factorized. So that is for you, Fila. Hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully it makes some sense. If it doesn't, let me know. If there's a step you don't understand, let me know. So Tendi, you're welcome to ask. What question do you have? Uh, hello, ma'am. Um, it's It says you must simplify. So it's 9y squared mm -hmm. minus 3y over 3y. Like this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and it asks you to simplify. Okay, so when we're in this type of situation, because we have two terms happening in our numerator, the best thing for us to do would be to factorize. So if we're looking over here, if I factorize that, I can take out a highest common factor. So I'm going to take out 3y, 
and I'm going to be left with 3y minus 1, and all of that is over 3y. So all I did was I factorized that numerator. Now that it's factorized and everything is one term, now I'm allowed to cancel. So that 3y can cancel with that 3y, and so my final answer is just going to be 3y minus 1. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. Okay, cool. Geometry! Question three. I would like the values for x, y, and z. And Tristan is going to talk us through these ones because Tristan is one of our few students. He still has an exam to write and poor Tristan still has paper two coming. So we are saving these ones for you, Tristan. We're very excited to hear your answers. You can... You can ask for advice on the chat from people if you are needing help. But we would like to hear your answers for X, Y, and Z. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I have faith in you, though. I feel like you'll be fine. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got another paper tour. I'm going to be picking on you, too. Um, can I change your name from iPhone? Actually, I think you can change your name because we've allowed you to rename yourself. In tears, that's fine, Tristan. We can cry together. It's okay. How about this, Tristan? At least find me. Yeah, find me one. Find me one of the angles with one of the reasons, and then you can pass the mic on. To someone else you can choose and they have to answer the second part of the question oh no taco it's okay it happens it happens to the best of us remember it's just your grade nine exam it's okay Uh, I wish she had a paper two as well. Paper twos can really help. Tristan, as soon as you're ready, unmute yourself and, uh, and talk to us. <laughs> Hello. Ah, uh, Tristan, we can't hear you. That sounded hopeful. Like I heard like a like a an audio sound. Good night in my chat. Getting lazy with your answers. Where are my reasons? We can't have answers in geometry without reasons. I'm going to give you guys. It's okay, Tristan. Don't panic. Thank you. I'm going to give you one more minute. Will that be enough? One Sorry, more minute to finish it up. Yeah. Um, actually, no, never mind. I'm going to do it for everyone else. It's fine. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Um, can I answer it when everyone's done? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think because Tristan's sound is not working properly. So, Princess, you absolutely can start talking us through. Tell me tell me what we can start with. Okay, ma'am. So, I said Z equals 30 because of vertical angles. Okay, it's close. So, yes, definitely Z is equal to 30 degrees. So, we're going to say vert up angles are equal. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, cool. And then like it's, the, it's the same reason for x equals 115. Okay, x equals 115. Vert up angles are equal. Good. There's that crisscross over there. Nice. Okay. 
And then I said 115 plus 115 plus 30 plus 30 plus 2y because both the angles are not given, both the sides are not given. So I named it. Okay, so I like what you've done because you've been very clever. You thought, okay, this must be y because they're vertically opposite each other. So you have the 2y. Yes. You're very clever. How is Ever. The problem is you have to, if you want to call that angle Y, you actually have to make a statement about it. So if you're wanting to call this angle Y, you would have to say R, and there isn't a letter here, so let's say O, R, O, Q is equal to Y because of vertically opposite angles. If we so it's a must. don't put that statement yeah, it's a must. Like if we don't put that statement there, we would lose, we wouldn't get any of those marks because we've made an assumption. Even though you're right, 100% right, but because you haven't stated that that is why, they wouldn't be able to give you the marks. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. In a very irritating world. But what we can do yeah. without having to do that is we can just look at those three, for example, because they're sitting on a straight line. line. Yeah. yeah. So, ma'am, the answer I got was. Ma'am, the answer I got was y equals 35. you would have been right that your your reasoning was very very solid um the only the only problem with what you did was the fact that you didn't say that this angle here was why that was the only problem okay i i okay that makes sense ma'am okay okay good good and i'm sure it will save you yeah i got the same answer though i got the same yeah answer. yeah yeah you would have you would have you would have you would have <laughs> Paper two looks easy based on our notes. Okay, well, that's good. That's exciting. I mean, I'll take that. Z, okay, so Bruce, be careful with Z. If we're looking over here, can you see that Z is an acute angle? It's small, okay? It's smaller than 90. So because of that angle, if you're getting an answer of something that's bigger than 90, then you can think, hmm, I've done something a little bit wrong. So always look at the size of your angles and think, could my answer be right? So like, for example, if you saw an angle that was like this size over here and you had like seven degrees, you can think, mm, yes, maybe my answer is not 100% right. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, ma'am. I saw where I made my mistake. Okay, good. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. Um, yeah. Brain break today. We can go to our brain break now and then we can jump back into some geometry. Your brain break today is a maths one. It's got, um, it's, you have to think a little bit, but I think it's a little bit less tricky than the one we did last week. Yippee! Let's do it. Let's see. Okay. It's your second last time with Brian, guys. <laughs> yeah, you're taking a break from Brian. Until, oh, yeah, forever. Until... Forever. Forever. <laughs> wow. Guys, say bye-bye. Maybe next time when you meet Brian, he'll be really old. Yeah. <laughs> looking all gray and with white hair. have aged. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, because Princess, because I won't be your teacher next year. Then Brian, Brian lives with me. Yeah. So... That's why forever. No, it's Thursday. No, you have it on Thursday. You have it on Thursday. Thursday's the last day. Yeah. <laughs> Princess is like, my heart. <laughs> okay, let's go. So I'm trying to figure out what this answer is over here. I want to know what that question mark is. Let's see if anyone can solve this one today. It's a goodie. I think, personally. Ma'am. Well, I'm glad you're going to miss him, Princess. 
Yes, Sorry, your mother. Tell me good things. Um, so I'm guessing that the first one, the three empty cones, is three times three times three. Okay. Um, and then I'm looking at the thingy, the second, like the cones below it. Mm. I want to say five. Oh yes, it is five because like the two white thingies are two right okay and then the cone below it is three and then for the other one it's the exact same thing so you want that to be three and that to be three and that to be and three. then the yes ma'am and okay. then for this one oh oh dear. okay um for this one it's gonna be seven so that means the cone below is gonna be three and then that the code the pink cone thing is gonna be one so then it's gonna be three. two for the three. first thing. two two yeah and then one, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, two, five, plus. Yee. Is that right? Oh my God. Okay. You know it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. So then the for the bottom one, like for yeah. the last one, the white one, of course, is going to be two. Okay. And then the cone is going to be three. Mm-hmm. And then the three again. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be another three. Mm-hmm. Then it's going to be two. Mm-hmm. Then it's going to be one plus one. And that's going to give us? Six. Um, nine, 12, 15. Yes! Uh, yes! Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Well yes. Yes. Uh, Nailed okay. it! I okay. must wow. say that that princess did beat you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but, well done, though. but you got well it, done. which is awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. My brain was just working super slow. I was so sorry. <laughs> no, you got it. That's nice. Good job. Good. 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 <laughs> Did anyone else learn of getting this before before Princess landed up getting the answer? Did we have any other brain buffs just chilling who had figured this out? Or had you figured out parts of it and not the whole thing just yet? Where were we at? <laughs> he was like, no, no, no. I hate Brian. <laughs> I'll make sure we have a whole bunch of brain breaks on Thursday because it'll be our last lesson together. So I'll make sure we have like five brain, brain breaks because I think you'll all be finished exams. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so now again, there's something here which should be alerting in our head is that we've got this line here which is parallel to this line here okay and as soon as we see those parallel lines we need to think of fun okay so look for fun see if it can help you in any way here and i'm looking for the answers for a and for b Okay, let's see. I'm going to give you guys, uh, I think, two minutes of spare. So when it's um, at 38 minutes past, we're going to go through this question over here. Sorry, ma'am. I'm here. Um, How can I help? I think I think I've got it. Okay, can I can I hold you off for just like a minute and a bit? Sure, sure. Okay, okay. And Tristan, we still have to pick on you at some point today. We have to. It's time to it's time to be picked on. We've got to get you. Muting. I think I must be pushing a button on something on my side. Um, 
Tristan, we've got to get you ready for this paper too, so that you're going in there feeling confident and strong. Yeah, Tristan and iPhone. Did we change his phone? I mean, yeah. his has, has Tristan changed? Uh, I mean, has iPhone changed their name? Maybe they did. Yeah, I don't see iPhone anymore. So that's a good sign. Okay, guys, you got like just under one minute to finish this one off to find A, B, and C. And then um, Namaza is going to talk us through. Okay, Namaza, we are ready. Talk us through A, B, and C. Um, so I said C is equal to A, T. Okay, of, what was our reason? I forgot the if function. Is it corresponding? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, okay. Corresponding. Um, uh, what do we have to v, say? V, W is parallel to Z, A, if I'm not mistaken. Perfect. Sure. Good, 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 um, and then after that, easy. I said A is equal is also equal to 180. Vertically opposite angles equal. Vert up angles equal. Good. And then after that, I also said B is equal to 50 because of corresponding angles. And then V W okay. is parallel to Z A. Perfect. B is equal to because of corresponding angles. B, W, Z, A. Perfect. Nice job. Six out of six. Mm, I know. Thanks. I'm the best. Good. Ma'am. <laughs> did we get six out of six? Ma'am, I did. But for, okay. for A, I said A equals to 80. And I said alternate angles. Perfect. 100%. If we said alternate or we said corresponding for A, well, if you if you did A first, you would have said alternate. If you did C first, you would have said corresponding. And remember, you never, ever, ever have to find these in the order of the letters. Someone told me that in one of these classes a few months ago and I panicked. Okay? You do not have to find your angles in the order of A, B, C. You find them in however you find them first, not alphabetically. Okay. Nice job, guys. You smashed this. You're doing so well. Six glorious marks. Okay. Let's move into. Yay! Tristan! Getting ready for that exam. Okay. Let's move into our next one and see how we do. Bye, Brian. Oh, this one, we haven't had one like this today. I want you to be very careful with this one. I don't want you to fall for a very specific trap that lots of people fall for in these types of questions. I believe in you guys. Now we have learned all to your gen's tricks, guys. Don't fall on the chat. Cha. <laughs> Ma'am, I think I've got it. Look at you just being a little brain buff today. Wow. That's really nice. You're the best indeed. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to hold you off just for a minute. Okay, sure. Perfectly fine. <laughs> princess is like, I'm done. I'm done. I see you, princess. I see that you're done. Worried about your reason. Okay. Okay. If you have done this in one line, um, you have fallen for a trap. I'll say that much. I will say that much. The trap here 
is assumptions. If you have made an assumption, you're, you're in my trap. Okay, I'm gonna give it to the little, a lot of extra time, and then we're gonna get going. I'm gonna see if you can get the reasons right. Okay. No, Maza. I'm Hi, ma'am. Yeah, if you're in my trap. Oh no, I definitely did not. Um, I noticed that it was um, I'm not sure if isosceles triangle where yeah, like both right. of the sides are parallel. Parallel. So then, well, that thing you, ma'am. They're they're the same. Yes, they're equal. Remember the word equal and not parallel are not the same. <laughs> Sorry, um, and then yeah. I said let C equal let angle C equal I'm guessing A because it was the first thing that just popped up but then I said that A inverted commas is equal to 50 does that make sense yeah, no, I like what you've said so far. We oh, don't, okay. we don't actually have to have that part there. You can just say angle C is equal to fifty, but I, I'm totally fine to put that there. What reason sure. would you put for that? Um, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, no, this isn't fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't remember the reason. I'm waiting. I, honestly, I can't remember the reason. I it's swear. That with it starts with angles opposites. Angles opposite equal? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Um, angles opposite equal. What what are equal in this triangle? A and C. Sides. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Okay. And no, then no, no, no. I know okay. that we would add up the 50 and the 50. So it'd be um, 50 plus 50 plus D is equal to 180, if I'm not mistaken. And mm -hmm. um, here, here. Sum of yeah. angles in a triangle. Yeah, sum of angles in a triangle. I've got it. And then after that, we would, of course, D is 80. <laughs> Right. So 180 minus 50 minus 50. So D is 80. Perfect. Nice. We got there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, the trap with this question was to not first state that C is 50 degrees. So if you jump straight into saying D plus 50 plus 50 is equal to 180 because of sum of angles in a triangle, you would not get that mark because you have made the assumption that angle C is 50 degrees. It has not been given to you. So we first have to state that angle C is 50 degrees. And once we have stated that it's 50 degrees, then we are allowed to use it. Just remember, if it's not written in the picture, we have to pretend like we don't know it's true until we have written it out loud. So you have to assume that whoever's marking your paper knows nothing other than what you are writing in, other than the story you're telling them. So that was that was what that trap was. So try not to fall for that trap in, in the future. Okay. Otherwise, how did this question go? Do we have other people who fell for the trap? I see Princess fell for the trap. That's okay. The best of us do. Ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, so if, if we just put that 50 without calculating how we got 50, we're not going to get a mark for that, or they'll give us a mark, but not for the calculations we did for. 
So they might be kind to you. They might give you one of the marks later on, depending on how many marks this is out of. They may give you one mark, but they don't actually have to give you any. Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's try another one. This is a nice juicy one, guys. This one you got to think about very carefully. You have to do a couple of steps before you get to your final answer. And all we're trying to find is the angle A. We're just trying to find the value of A. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a good few minutes to try this one because it's a juicy question. Just try your best. Hi, ma'am. Hi. Um, I, I just want to check on something. I'm actually okay, not sure. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Would it be exterior angles? Like from the angle A, B, D, like we were working that out. Would it be exterior angles? Okay. Yeah, yes. Yes and no. So this angle here is the exterior angle of this angle plus this angle. Okay. Okay. That's it. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was a good question. At least you have a good start. Y'all we'll can do this. I would use that logic in a slightly different way. So definitely use the idea that Nomaz is talking about with an exterior angle of a triangle but maybe look at it a bit messy it's okay I see the direct message I came in if you're feeling a little bit lost it's okay it's not the end of the world I promise I'll talk through this one nice and slowly so that everyone understands we'll stop with this question for tonight so we'll make sure that everyone is, is feeling solid with it by the end of tonight. Just going to give you a couple more minutes to give it a try by yourselves first. Sorry, ma'am. Mm. Just to check one more time, just one more time. Um, should I include the 3A like inside the triangle or should I just leave it out there as well? The 3A I was can't thinking be... Of it can't be included inside the triangle. Okay. Because I was thinking of like working it in like a straight lines type of situation, but then I got scared. That's a good road to take, but not with the three A. Okay, ma'am. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> scared about this answer. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to talk you through this question really nicely and slowly, okay? There are lots of different ways you could go about this. I'm going to show you the easiest one. Now, if we were given this question in an exam, we can see we have triangles. We can see we have exterior angles. Okay, so this one is facing us. So it's probably the one that would be the most obvious to us. And if we were looking at that triangle, that would be our exterior angle, and it would be this angle plus this angle. Okay. But we don't have that angle down here, and it would be quite tricky for us to find because there's the 3A that's chilling over there. So instead of looking at that triangle, what if we looked at this one? Okay. Now that is my exterior angle, and it would be equal to this angle plus this angle. Now, this angle is much easier to work out because the angle next to it is 150 degrees. So we can say angle D, B, C. So that's this angle over here. 
is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees because of angles on a straight line. All right. The angle DBC is equal to 30 degrees. So now we know that this angle in here is 30 degrees. And now we can do our exterior angle of our triangle. So now we can say, therefore, 3A, that's our exterior angle. And now exterior angle is always equal to the sum of our interior angles. is going to be equal to 30 plus... 2a plus 10 and our reason for that is going to be exterior angle of triangle all right now we've got a normal equation where we want to get our letters together on one side and we want to get our numbers on the other side so we're going to say 3a minus 2a is equal to 30 plus 10 3 minus 2 just gives us 1 that's just a is equal to 40 degrees. And that's the end of our question. Did anyone manage to get this or get close? Or tell me what you did. What did what did everyone try? Did you um, try something different? Yeah, tell me what you did. Uh, what I did got me a negative, which is why I'm completely worried about what I did. <laughs> okay, what was your first step? What did you start with? Um, I say 2a plus 10 equals 30 plus 150. Oh, uh, okay. So you were using the idea of exterior angles of a triangle, but remember that your exterior angle is the opposite. So like if, um, let me just draw a triangle over here. Okay. If that's my exterior angle, it's equal to the sum of the opposite angles, not the one that's right next to the exterior angle. So this 150 over here, you, you had the 30, which was great, okay? So this is your interior, this is your interior, but then it has nothing to do with that 150. It's equal to the 3A over there. Okay, uh, so I would completely fail this question in a test. You would, yes. But it's okay because it's not in a test. It's just in our lesson with us together now. Okay, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Next time you will definitely nail it because yeah, now you know yeah. how to do it. If you went the other route, you could have also worked with this angle in here and you would have just called it 180 minus 3a. And then you could have said 150 degrees is equal to 2a plus 10 plus 180 minus 3a. And you would have been able to solve for a. So either way, you would have you would have gotten there. I just think sometimes like Writing the 180 minus 3a sometimes it feels a bit messy, or sometimes it feels trickier, but it's up to you. Guys, it has been a joy. Um, good luck for those of you who are writing before Thursday. The rest of you, I will see you on Thursday. We will...